how do you find an idea what what is an ai saas idea uh, if you go to any traditional you know startup advice you get all this advice like uh, you know technology doesn't matter find a user problem and solve it uh, that is perfectly fine but especially when you are coming to ai saas and when you are trying to build your startup as a solopreneur or a small or with a small team my biggest advice is you need to choose ideas that are already being paid for but they are paid currently because it's done manually so as i mentioned here try to see what are some manual tasks that are currently paid for which could be you know completely enhanced revamped with a new setup with ai or just substituted kind of replaced or uh, um, you know provided with more features with existing or imminent state of the art generative ai why i mentioned existing or imminent is because um, one thing is that current ai uh, could do it or the current ai that will evolve in the next 2 3 years should be able to do it that's what i mean uh, when i use the word imminent so basically what are the manual tasks that are currently being done and paid for which ai could enhance or substitute in the next in the current state of the art form or how it is evolving in the next 2 3 years that's the biggest thing that you need to look because as a solopreneur or a small or working with a small team your goal is to not create a consumer behavior your goal is not to create a new consumer behavior that they pay for you need to tap it tap into existing consumer behavior which is already being paid for now you just need to infuse your ai element onto it because that's the best way to you know effortlessly or with minimal risk you can start an ai saas now just like a rocket if uh, you have boosters attached to it you can go far and faster so the booster is basically booster one is are you solving your own problem where you are your own first customer i'll give you an example so when open ai's whisper speech to text model came out i was subtitling my own uh, course videos and i didn't find anything good and then i got to know that open ai released whisper speech to text model that is state of the art so there for supertranslate.ai that is one of the startup that i am not currently associated with but i took it from idea to profitability there i was solving my own problem because the goal was to uh, you know subtitle my own course videos where i am speaking with uh, heavy indian accent and technical terminology so nothing worked best uh, anything that is out there in the world other than open ai's whisper so we built on top of it uh, there i was the first customer of my startup it is not necessary but if you are there that is the best position to be then booster 2 is you have existing domain expertise so that you can easily identify the customer who will pay for this as well as finalize the first set of features to build and uh, apart from the main thing that current, uh, converting manual tasks enhancing them or substituting them with ai if you have these additional boosters which is solving your own problem or you have domain expertise Uh, when i mean you have dom- domain expertise it need not necessarily be you but uh, people around you or the closest to you for example if uh, your father or mother runs a school then you have direct uh, domain expertise access to edtech where there are children and schools that you can test so that's also one of the booster where you can tap into existing domain expertise that is uh directly with you or direct indirect access with uh, uh you or someone who is closest to you that's what i mean and uh, i'll quickly say 
uh, how question.a which is generating quizzes from text let's see how it fits into this criteria because uh, you can think about uh, any startup idea and see if it fits into this framework so for example what are some man manual tasks let's see what are uh, i would say question was an idea that uh, got initiated somewhere in 2019 or 2020 almost 3 or 4 years back and uh, we try to see what are the possibilities for this idea to take off so i took this framework what are currently manual tasks for example uh, as i talked to few friends as well as some tutoring chains etc i realized that quiz creation is a manual task of course teachers or question authors they read some content and generate quizzes like multiple choice questions true or false etc so it is done manually let's say at uh, at the point of time in 2020 or 2019 etc and also even big companies like publishers like McGraw Hill Pearson they were outsourcing this question creation task so quiz creation is a manual task and is it currently paid for when I mean currently in 2019 2020 again talking to few other people and doing my own online research I realized that you know big publishers outsource this question creation process to uh, some other companies called as item bank companies that means McGraw Hill or Pearson will tie up with uh, companies that are sitting on other side of the world and uh, they give some you know basic formatting and quality checks etc to create these quizzes from content so it's currently paid for and also I had a few friends who are working in as tutors uh, and I realized that you know tutoring chains also hire staff uh, to create new quizzes yearly because otherwise the content becomes stale and quizzes become repetitive so every year there is a recurring usage and recurring need to create new quizzes and that could be enhanced or substituted now you have this idea how can you create a tool that will create these quizzes uh, that was my uh, that was the idea that i started with and the question was born out of that where currently question can take in a textbook content as a pdf or just word document even 300 pages long and in one click it can create up to 100 or 150 quizzes like multiple choice questions true or false now the biggest thing is that it can act as an authoring tool where now teachers instead of spending two three hours reading the content and creating quizzes they can directly create they can directly upload the material get quizzes in one minute under one minute and they can just review and export now so it saves them huge amount of time and uh, existing or imminent state of the art generative ai this is a very very uh, crucial and important line to understand because when i started in 2020 this was kind of possible where you can generate quizzes from text but it was hard because you had to create custom quiz data sets then you had to train your own transformer models ai models like t5 etc then you need to host those models but i had a rough idea that if you can do it now in a hard way it will only be easier in two three years once uh, the AI revolution progresses and so in 2020 i used to host my own model spend 500 dollars etc you know hosting t5 models trained uh, but in 2024 i just use open ai or anthropics api where you know gpt4 gpt 3.5 are readily available i pass in text and generate quizzes so existing in 2020 meant t5 transformer models that you need to train imminent meant thinking about gpt3 or gpt4 coming up that will enhance this in next two three years that is right now in 2024